Hi there, in this video we're gonna talk about the contingency fuel. By the end of the video you will know what the contingency fuel is, why we've got the contingency fuel and what type of contingency fuel you can find on your operational flight plane, on your OFP. Okay, without further ado, let's jump right into it. Hi there, I'm Gabriel from PilotClimb.com. I'm a training cap on the Boeing 737 and I help you to become a better pilot. I'm uploading a lot of new contents every week, so consider subscribing to the channel in order not to miss the next content. All right, let's talk about this contingency fuel. The contingency fuel is a fuel that you've got on top of the fuel required to fly from A to B that will cover you in case you've got some unforeseen circumstances. But what are these unforeseen circumstances? For example, you have a flight plane and you have a cruise level of flight level uh, uh, 370 for example however the ATC will tell you to level off after a flight level 300 due to traffic in that case since you are flying 7,000 feet below your cruising level you will burn a lot more fuel okay so the contingency fuel should take care of that okay as well as the contingency fuel should take care of as we said or any unforeseen circumstances such as the weather so let's say you are cruising and there is a big cumulonimbus along your route you have to do a big weather diversion and that's why we've got this contingency fuel as you can see is in there just to cover the unforeseen circumstances okay but how much is this contingency fuel it depends because the contingency fuel can be expressed in percentage or can be expressed in minutes depending on your flight plan check on your flight plan what is your contingency fuel so normally the contingency fuel is 5% of your trip fuel. So let's say you're flying from A to B and you need 1000 kilograms of fuel, does the contingency fuel for that sector equals 50 kilograms, okay? But the contingency fuel can be even reduced to 3% if you use the fuel en route alternate operations, okay? I need to make a separate video about this because it's a quite uh, uh, interesting topic to understand, okay? But anyway, if you have a suitable a route alternate close to your destination in that case the contingency fuel can be reduced to three percent okay and as well as as we said the contingency fuel can be expressed in minutes the contingency fuel can be five percent three percent or can be expressed in minutes okay however there is a limitation the contingency fuel must never be below five minutes of fuel of holding altitude at 1500 feet at your destination aerodrome okay so for example let's make it an example in order to make sure that this is clear so so as we said in the example before, if you're flying from A to B, you need 1,000 kilograms of fuel. So your trip fuel is 1,000 kilograms. 5% of that trip fuel is 50 kilograms, okay? So let's say, but in order to hold that for five minutes at 1,500 feet on your destination aerodrome, you need 100 kilograms. In that case, your contingency fuel will be 100 kilograms, okay? Again, these are just numbers that I made up to make sure that the concept is clear, okay? So as you can see, the contingency fuel can be expressed in percentage in time, but it has to be at least these five minutes at 1,500 feet at your destination aerodrome. All right, so I hope you uh, understand what is the contingency fuel. If you have any question, leave in a comment below and then I will help you out. Also go to paroclimb.com where you can subscribe for free paro training content. I wish you a great day and I'll see you in the next one.